everyone and welcome to another Facebook live today we are going to talk about the best way to COVID clean deep clean and age care we have just done one today and I have everything nice and fresh for you first thing first what implements do I need to perform a disinfection or COVID deep clean you need a broom dustpan some a lot of disposable towels a lot of sanitizers a lot of chemical we normally recommend net biochem dsam because it claims to kill the virus the covid 19 in just two minutes buckets a mop or two with some disposable uh, sheets to put in it have some stations all around the premise stock them with all the PPE necessary have the fogging machine now let's talk about the protective the PPE PPE stands for protective personal protective equipment and for this job we need firstly today I think the best way to do it is to have a cover all to keep the whole time and then on top of that have a gown a mask a facial mask goggles and gloves you can also use um, some shoe cover but sometimes if you are working in a wooden floor or with tiled floors it becomes very very slippery and the hazard of having someone getting hurt increases okay so sometimes maybe we can work without them now what to do when we meet someone of the seniors in the corridors or when they ask us to help them obviously we can't help them because we don't know how so we just ask them politely please give me a moment i'll get someone for you and we need to keep 1.5 meters to 2 meters distance between us and them we are assuming that the covid is everywhere that's the philosophy and that's the mindset that we go with we don't trust anyone we don't trust anything we don't trust anywhere we just take our precautions all the time and anytime that we are not sure we just change our PPE okay so uh, how many people do we need to do a, a COVID deep clean and disinfection that depends like today for example we have cleaned a 40 room H care and we were there eight staff basically we have done all the COVID clean disinfection fogging and also the carpet steam cleaning not just in the rooms but also in all the corridors and all in all the six meeting areas or common areas plus the kitchen and storage and uh, two offices okay so um how we organize that it's very easy when you know so what we have done is the first thing is once we arrive we have to suit up so we have to be very very organized with all the pp that thank god is usually uh, provided by the hk but we bring our cover all suit and we change at the entrance obviously they take us the temperature they uh, register our names and our uh, details 
just in case there is a, a positive case of for tracing purpose so that's why it's very important to do that high the control of temperature so like this if someone is not feeling well or very high temperature so we don't want anyone that is already infected or has some symptoms to go and infect other people especially the people that are there are mostly elderly and little bit or with some health challenges and are very weak sometimes so we don't want anyone with any symptoms of or any doubt about any symptoms or flu to come there and uh, make things worse so how we have organized the day it's very easy so we have started from uh, fogging fogging all the rooms that we can afford to have the resident out of his room in this way we can fog all the place so the bedrooms and the bathrooms then a keep a team of two people go in and in 10 minutes 10 15 minutes they are all done with the room with the bathroom and also with the mopping sometimes it takes less sometimes it takes more because some people have some ornaments or their own furniture some people are just simple some people have a lot of clutter a lot of things so we have to disinfect all of them how we do it we do it in two phase the first one is to fog so basically our disinfectant which is tga approved uh, kills all the virus but for better results we go again the second time manually and we disinfect all the high touch areas we have already covered that in a previous um, video okay so i'm not going to take much time on this and we have organized three teams to do the cleaning one guy to do the steam cleaning and then once we have we are almost halfway one of our team has started doing the carpet steam cleaning in the rooms that we have already cleaned now it's not that simple not every one of the residents can go out of the room not everyone has the right or is allowed to go out so for the people that are not allowed or cannot go out of their rooms what we do we have left them for last basically what we do we just fog the bathroom and we close it quickly so like this the fume does not go in the bedroom and uh, harm the resident we ask the resident to go on the bed in this way we if possible if not on their armchair so in this way we can disinfect the whole room working around the customer something very very extremely extremely important after each room the cleaners has to change the gown and the gloves why because in this way they are not bringing or taking any virus or bacteria from one room to another one this is extremely important it's time consuming it's ppe consuming but it's worth the cost okay and please do it that's the best so once we have done it takes a little bit longer so 10 15 minutes for a team of two sometimes even more because with the customer it's not easy to work around them or because they need something or because there is some like we can there is not much space but we need to be patient when we do this kind of work and we have to be very diligent because we can't leave anything to chance these people count on us to give them the best chances of a covid or virus free environment and we are obliged apart from paid but also we have the moral obligation and duty to make that happen to the best of our ability and avoiding any chance of cross-contamination okay i hope this is clear to you then 
uh, once we were almost finished another guy has taken another machine and has started doing the corridors and the common areas in this way we have all we have started around eight o'clock and we were finished by 3 30 p.m more or less we have taken half an hour to have a break and have something to eat the customer or the owner was very very happy and especially when we have shown him the color of the water that was coming out of our steam cleaners it was really really black and he was very very pleased that he has chosen the extra service which is to do the carpet steam cleaning now some people has asked us is steam cleaning necessary i would say not really not hundred percent why because once we fog or we uh, spray our disinfectant so the top part of the carpet is technically disinfected but not all the carpet and if we have a lot of people going there with their shoes and with the and the resident with no shoes it could cause some harm or could bring some more infection of some sort of infection or um, harm so for this reason we have this extra add-on which is carpet steam cleaning for all the carpets in this way steam cleaning them makes them disinfected and also brings the best look the best uh, odor smell and look and in this way we the old resin they will uh, uh, reap all the good effect and the good the benefit of it now before i wrap it up i would like to touch on some precaution for cleaning the first one is never go inside an h care without having your ppe the more you have the better it is i know it's not comfortable i know it hurts at, uh, you sweat yeah but I prefer that rather than getting infected and then spending a lot of money and a lot of time and stress and wasting or losing opportunity to do what or having less freedom. Now, uh, once you are working, please, please do not touch your face or any part of your skin because otherwise you will infect it. And if that infection goes to your mouth or nose, or eyes that will make you totally vulnerable okay uh, try not to get too close to the resident as much as possible if possible bring a change of and change your clothes for in to, for today we have chosen to put uh, a cover all and I think that was very smart. Obviously, it's a, a 10 to $20 per cleaner as extra expense, but I'm happy to do it. You need to change the gloves very often. And especially if you see them that they are not holding or they are broken or any tear and wear, change them quickly. Your hands are far more important than the cost of those gloves. Um, don't touch your hair don't touch your face and at the end or every time you change your gown and um, gloves please disinfect your hands before and after putting the gloves okay um, after two hours it's better if you can take a 10 minute break just to have some water go to the bathroom uh, change uh, get some fresh air and that helps you to re-energize yourself and then to start fresh if you stay there doing five six hours continuous your reflexes will go a little bit lower and you might make one mistake that could cost you an infection 
okay if you have any part of your suit that is broken or need change please change it immediately i hope this was very very uh, productive and very instructive for you if you have any questions please put them in the comment and i'll be very happy to answer any one of them as a disclaimer this is the best of my knowledge this is the best that we do can we do it better absolutely have we done some mistakes maybe but we have done the best of the best of the best of our ability and everyone today has left very very happy not just with the amount of hours or the the pay but because we were able to make a change and as will smith says if you are not making someone else life better you are just wasting our time or your time and today we haven't wasted our time thank you for listening and i will talk to you next week Bye for now.